After a run to the Elite Eight this past March, Eric Musselman's Razorback squad has high hopes for this season. An influx of talented transfers to go along with key guys returning from last season, the Hogs have SEC title and Final Four aspirations. That journey officially starts November 9th against Mercer. But Sunday, Hog fans got their first look at the team in the annual red-white game. Barnhill Arena, playing host to the scrimmage, the Hogs rocking throwback unis and logos, including the classic slobbering hog. Team Red started this game hot. Devo Davis picking up where he left off after his hot end to last season. A nice finish off the glass. He tied for the team high with 16 points. He was also dishing assists, finding K.J. Robinson beyond the arc for three, one of two triples in the game for Robinson. Red was out to a 13-0 lead, but then Team White got back in it. The Miami transfer Chris Likes feeding Jalen Williams on the pick and pop he knocks down the tray. Then a little later, on the feed from J.D. Note, and Williams is good again. The Fort Smith native had 12 points and 7 rebounds. We just mentioned Likes, the former Hurricanes guard, is a big pickup this season. Showing some quickness, maybe a little push off, but the shot is good. He had 14 points and 3 assists. The leading scorer went to J.D. Note. He had his floater game going. He also did some damage on the fast break. Note finishing with 22 points on 9 of 18 from the field, leading Team White to the 74-63 victory. But more important to Coach Musselman than the result was the chance to replicate a live game setting. For our team to be able to play in front of a crowd with referees, um, we needed it. I mean, there's been a lot of banging each other uh, for the eight of the ten weeks in the summer, and then you add, you know, all of September and, and uh, you know, a few weeks into October, that's that's a lot of weeks of, of going against one another. Um, and at least today gave us a little bit more of a game type atmosphere, which was much needed. Arkansas will have two exhibitions before it officially starts its season. Next Sunday, they'll host D2 school East Central out of Oklahoma, followed by a game against a team to be announced on Saturday, October 30th. Both games are at Bud Walton Arena. The season then starts November 9th against Mercer to begin a three-game homestand at BWA, followed by matchups with Gardner-Webb and Northern Iowa.